Megan will perform for us live. We're going to chat with her in just a moment, but first, this, a little bit of her story. You know I'm all about that bass, about that bass. No. She's a musical powerhouse known for her girl power anthems. I'm feeling untouchable, untouchable. Megan Trainer's body positive singles topping the charts from mega hit All About That Bass to Lips Are Moving. I know you lie, lie. Your lips are moving. The Grammy Award winner inspiring women everywhere to embrace their shape and curves. Turn the bass up. But this week, the 22 year old pulling this altered version of the music video for her new single, Me Too. I took down the Me Too video because they photoshopped the crap out of me, and I'm so sick of it and I'm over it, so I took it down until they fix it. Trainer posting this side by side comparison on Instagram, writing, The real Me Too video is finally up. Miss that bass. I can't help loving myself. Sharing the untouched video showing off her unaltered physique. If I was you, I'd want to be me too. I'd want to be me too. Damn it, you hear it? Making her GMA debut, Megan Trainer. Great. Yeah. Now, I got I, I saw you last night on Jimmy Fallon. At yeah, the end, you, you took a little that? bit of a tumble there. Yeah, you okay? You all right? I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling little bruises oh, oh, everywhere. Oh. But you took I it. was fine. It was I, great. He got down on the ground I with actually you. got up and was like, let me do it again. And I did it again, but I looked at it, and that was the better performance. <laughs> See there? I was like, ah, just keep this it. This is what we love about you, Megan. <laughs> you, you keep it real. And let's talk about the video. Uh, yeah. When did you first know that something... I noticed, right. um, I, w I worked so hard on this video. It was a 22-hour shoot, and we all, my family, was editing it with me because we were on this promo trip, so we're busy every day, but we looked at everything. I even, like, shaved off mole hair. <laughs> I did everything, and I examined it, and then when I was up, I saw my fans posting clips of this dance scene, and I was like, why, why are the fans messing with my waist? Mm -hmm. And like, I was like, why are they doing that? And then I looked at my video, I was like, that's my own video. And my glam squad was like, that's not your waist. And I was like, I know that's not my waist. They made me skinnier than the dancers next to me who are so, dancers. So the, so the, edit, so so the editors... I, and I love, I love the director, I love right. this video, and we're right. so proud of this, but I, I had to... I had to call up the head of Evo and say, take it down. That's not me. I need to fix this now as yeah, soon as I can. Because you have stood up and said, you know, you are the poster sh child for no Photoshop. Yeah. I just, I don't know. And we had a short amount of time to get it turned around yeah. and put it out. But I don't know, like, how you, you would shave my waist off, like me. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, as the all about the bass girl, but I know that that's what was so ironic about it. And all. I don't, I didn't want this song to be like the new anthem for like Photoshop, but it obviously is still a big issue, and we're still talking about it. Yeah, we is. Well, let's talk about the music. Yes. Because, because it is new, and it's something a little bit different from you, because because people thought you'd do a lot like you did the first time, and yeah. it was your producer L.A. Reid that said, no, let's, let's yeah. challenge you. Yeah, L.A. knew, because I've been writing for a lot of his artists too, like Fifth Harmony right. and uh, Jennifer Lopez, and he, so he knows what I'm capable of, and he knew, like, you don't have to do the doo-wop again, which I, I even didn't want to be stuck in doo-wop, but I presented him with, here's new doo-wop, and he was like, no, I know you can do more, like, push yourself. And he kept pushing me, and then I was so angry at one point, I wrote no. And that was towards L.A. Reid, like, you need to let it go. I write good songs. And he's like, this is it. You've always written good songs for Thank others you. and now for yeah. yourself. And I mean, but it's got a, you know, it's got Caribbean, it's got a little rap, yeah. it's got dance. I tried to put all my favorite influences in this album. All right, well, you got a lot of fans, and we hit them up on Twitter and said, you know, let us know what you want to ask. I love this Twitter handle, Blue Bell Twinkle. <laughs> Blue Bell Twinkle asks, what was your favorite musical memory growing up? My favorite musical memory? Memory, yeah. Wow, that's like, that's a big range of things. Uh, like my favorite TV performance? Whatever. What I a, was what? a big uh, Britney Spears fan on her award show performances. I remember I'd make the entire house stop talking. I'd be like, listen, Britney is on. We must focus and we must watch this. That was my big moments of watching. Because a lot of people want to know who were your influences because you have uh, really shaped and, and influenced others and you motivate others and, and people want to know who inspired you because you're so inspirational. I um, always have looked up to Bruno Mars too. Bruno Mars knows this. I, every interview I have, I say Bruno Mars. Um, and my mom is always like, you're like the girl Bruno Mars. <laughs> just, we, really, we love him and we're such big fans of his songwriting, but his performances as well and him as an artist. And I want to 
I want to be as cool as Bruno Mars. Well, you are, you are you are well on your way and look the part. Thank you. As well, love all the sparkle. Trying. Okay, so you want to tell us what you're going to be doing this weekend? Uh, yeah. Going to see you? What? What am I doing? Yeah. I'm. Uh, I put out an album today. Today, uh, happy release day. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. That's it. Thank you. No, but the Billboard. Oh yeah, Billboard Music Awards. I'm singing there. Yes. That's live. right. We're also singing No at Billboard, and uh, yeah, we're doing a bunch of stuff. And going out on tour. Singing at Wango Tango. We're going on tour, the Untouchable tour. We're going with Haley Steinfeld. And Common Kings. Oh. It's going to be a great show. Because the last time, you know, you are you okay? Yeah. Your vocal cords? Couldn't keep cool? up. Yeah. Because we went on tour and then we went on tour again. But you're good? Just, yeah, we're learning. We're learning um, ways to keep it healthier. And I got my uh, vocal coach here. We heard you this morning. Me with, yeah, yeah about 5 a.m. We heard it's you. It's weird, right? I'm <laughs> doing like whale noises. <laughs> we heard you down the. We're like, who is that? It must be Megan. Yeah. Uh, but you're going to be singing for us on the last yeah, half hour. Hey, thanks for sitting down and chatting. Thanks with for us. having me.